Is the Camelback hog bag for commuting worth it or not? We're gonna take a look. So I have here the Camelback hog 30 liter bag and I just wanted to show you some of what it offers. If you can see here, 30 liters. Uh, there's also the mule, which is 20 liters, I believe. But I, I have the 30 and I'll show you why. Uh, first off, this is a commute bag. And some of the top features for it are found as you put it on. Well, one of the key things that they're encouraging as you're commuting is that you have access to what you need. And so what they have here is called the control center. And it's big enough here, a zippered mesh pocket for your phone. I use an iPhone 11 Pro and so it fits in there. If you go max, it's not going to probably fit that unless it's really stretchy. Um, you also have space over here for keys with a key clip or maybe your earbuds or something else you want to tuck in there. There is a chest strap which is adjustable. It can move up and down depending on uh, your preference and there's also a removable waist strap which you can't see right now but uh, I'll show as I lift it up so if you need more stability that is a potential if you need it but that's for the front the straps are padded but if you're gonna be riding for a really long time you're probably gonna feel it especially if you have as much stuff in it as I do and I'll explain why but what I think is the best feature about this bag is the water resistance. You don't want to be stuck riding your bike, walking, or using in between public transport with a bag that's going to let your electronics get all wet. So this is made with a special fabric. The zippers are covered so you don't get water entering through the zippers. And you also have a coating on top to make it even more resistant to water. The follow-up to that is where you keep your laptop in the back here. There is a pocket, you can see a storm proof uh, roll down. And so if you unroll it, that's where your laptop or your iPad, if you want, is gonna be kept. Uh, also in this back area is where you can put your hydration reservoir, the, the Camelback hydration system just fits in there and slides down in. And um, you can, it makes it easy to poke the straw or the hose up through here while still maintaining water resistance. Um, I personally wouldn't put the hydration pack in with my laptop, but if you need to switch back and forth, you can do that. Instead, what I do, and uh, you can see, this has two pockets on the side. We've got a mesh pocket over here, which can fit a bike lock if you want, and a zipper pocket over here. And what I have in this one is a water bottle that I really love. And it's also by Camelback, and that's why they made it big enough for this. I have the Camelback, uh, this water multi-bev, because I have a beverage container for hot if I want. I also have the thermos if I want to keep something cold or hot in there too. And in the top stored away is the, the lid for this bottom piece. There's a different review for that, but it fits really well in here. And so I have mine in here, but you can also put it in the mesh. Uh, if you're riding and you do get wet and you have your jacket, it can fit in this outside pocket that has mesh sides right around here. So it's breathable, it's not gonna get moldy, um, but you don't have to have it in close to your electronics. Also, when you get done riding, you have helmet clips, uh, helmet loops right here. And that can make sure that your helmet's fastened onto your backpack. You're not having to shove it inside or carry it in your hand. Another little element for safety, reflective, reflective, but also there's a clip that you can just fit a light on. And so to be more visible if you're commuting at night or even during the day when it's so dark out in the winter times. Uh, so that's really the outside of the bag. I've opened that laptop bag, but there's another main, there's actually two more pockets to consider. Right here is a soft pocket, which is where I prefer to stick my phone or something else, got the felt lining to keep separated. But the main pocket is right here. And this is the one that, where you're gonna see a difference in between the mule and the hog. I have the hog, the larger one, 
And I preferred it because I, well, I take this out for work in moving around. I also take it on work trips for the weekend. And so what I can fit into here, uh, and what I like about the top is that it opens up like this and you can have easy access to everything you have in here. Uh, so what I have that's not dropping out right now is I have my jacket that can also be shoved in that front pocket, but I kept my jacket in there. I have uh, my headphones. I have extra clothing in there uh, for overnight. And then you have two zippered pockets, one mesh, one not. In here, I have different electronics, chargers, uh, photography equipment. I have extra mask and um, headphones and things up in this one, both zippered pockets. If I could change something, I would probably divide this up into three, maybe without the zipper, but I just, I like to have my things more separate. So if I could, I would probably change that about it or the bottom one, but I just like to have some more individual layers in here. But again, have headphones and extra a packing cube with extra clothes for the weekend, which I've been using regularly. And then there's another sleeve back here, which you can use uh, for your iPad, your computer, if you have the hydration pack in the back. Um, but it gives you a lot of room. Again, 30 liters is a lot. So it might be too much. If you're just using it for a regular to and from work, you're gonna wanna go with the mule. But if you need it for something like I do with, you're headed out for the weekend, you're gone for a few days, this is plenty. Um, I would take this even upwards of a week. It would be fine for me because I travel pretty light. And if I'm just taking my iPad, uh, that even frees up more space. So the key features of this bag, why you might consider it for commuting. They have thought through keeping your electronics dry. That is a very good aspect. They give you lots of options with the various pockets and how it integrates with things that you're gonna need on your bike. Bike locks, hydration, all that. Inside, you have plenty of space to be able to separate things that you need to adding extra electronics, headphones, clothing. And then, I haven't mentioned this before, but you have, uh, in order to keep your back not so sweaty as you're riding, they have the breathable, breathable mesh keeping the heat off, allowing air to circulate back there, which makes it nice. And they have the control center, so you don't keep things in your pocket, it can fall out when you're riding, or you can lose them when you sit down on public transit. I like this pack. I'm gonna use it for a long time. I actually, previous, was using this bag, which I really like. It's just a leather satchel, but it doesn't provide the protection in the rain for when I'm biking and stuff. And that's what I like about this bag. Again, choose the size appropriate to what you need it as, uh, but Camelback does a good job with this, this pack that integrates with other systems like their hydration, their uh, the multi-bev drink that I the drink canister that I really enjoy. And it gives you the opportunity to get out and enjoy the outdoors, even when you're on your way to work, which I think is a win-win situation. I hope this was helpful. If you want more, check out the review linked in the description below or the website where you can see more reviews like this.